Hello, good evening. Good evening, Antonio. Good evening, Guillermo. Good evening. Good, good, evening. Evening. good evening, good evening, William. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today, everybody? ¿Cómo están el día de ahora? Good, bad, so so. Very good. Very good. Nice. Good. Good. Very good, good teacher. <laughs> excellent, excellent. I'm happy to hear that. Okay, so we are going to wait a few seconds. Maybe the other one join, okay? Just give me one second so I can present to you the first thing of the class. Give me one second. Um, so, okay. Um, so as you can see here, we are going to uh, start with the class. And uh, we are going with English. Principiante Módulo 1, as you know, today it is Thursday, May 4th, 2023, right? And uh, today, basically, it's also a date for a Star Wars round. May the 4th be with you. And so, yeah, something th that we are going to do today is that we are going to learn the present progressive or present continuous, okay? Lo que vamos a hacer el día de ahora es que vamos a aprender y a practicar el present progressive, okay? And, but to start, I have, well, the unit that is in unit number four, I am not wearing boots. And then here we have the agenda, okay? Uh, the agenda is super short as always, but we are going to have a lot of activities to do, okay? Let's start with the first one. In this first activity, okay, we have, hello, Miss Mayra. In the first activity, we have uh, this good called good evening. good evening, Miss Battleship. Tenemos esta actividad que se llama Battleship. ¿Por qué se llama Battleship? Because you will see like a sharp, van a ver un cuadro, ¿ok? It will have letters and numbers, va a tener números y letras, y ustedes van eligiendo un número y una letra, al cual los llevará a un verbo. Eh, deberán hacer una oración con ese verbo. Using simple present, utilizando el simple present, que fue lo que estudiamos el día de ayer. Ok, just to making... Um... Good evening, teacher. Good evening, mister. Welcome, welcome. Good evening, Noé. Eh, Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening yeah. Jonathan. Thank you for coming. Good evening, Andrea. Good evening, Ismael. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. So it says, say a sentence with one verb on the chart. Okay, um, so you will see the, the, the chart as I told you before. Van a ver el cuadro, como les dije. Y vamos a elegir una letra. Aquí está el cuadro y un número. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. Vamos a empezar. And uh, let's go with the first one. We are going to start with Mr. Noé. Noé, debes elegir una letter and then a number. Una letra y un número. De la A a la D o y un número de 1 to 7. Let's go, Noé. Ok. C5. C5. Yes. Ok, C5 is drink. Vaya, es drink. Tienes que hacer una oración utilizando drink con cualquier sujeto. Ok. Eh. Sí. He sorry, he drinks. He drinks water. Water, excellent, Mister. Water. Very good. Oh, nice. Yes. You have a ship. Nice, nice. But let's go now with Antonio. Antonio, tell me one letter and one number, please. Um, B. Okay. Uh, six. B six. Okay, feel. Oh. Mm -hmm. Feel, sentir. Feel, um, where? Feel, feel, sentir. Uh, I don't know. Feel, for example, I feel happy. Okay, yo me siento okay, feliz. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. I feel happy. Mm -hmm. That's mine. And you? Um, 
and you. Uh, o sea, tú, uno, ¿qué oración dirías? Yo dije, I feel happy. ¿Cuál sería la tuya? Ajá. I feel happy in you. No, 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 pero esa es mi oración. I feel esa es oración. happy. Ajá, okay. esa es mi oración. Ahora quiero que tú crees una utilizando feel. Feel significa sentir. Por ejemplo, I feel. Ahora sí puedes decir, I feel. I feel. Um, very good. Oh, very good. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, no points, but that's good, mister. Thank you. Let's go with next one. Guillermo, tell me one letter and one number, please, mister. Mm, D2. D2, sorry. D2. So it would be right. Tell me, mister. You write note. You write? Note, not us. note. Exactly. Thank you. Very good, Guillermo. Let's go next one. Jonathan, tell me one letter and one um, number, please. Okay. Um, uh -huh. uh, uh b5 b5 okay b5 sería watch tell me one sentence using uh watch uh, uh, she watch tv okay she watches tv remember right she watches tv excellent thank you mister very good let's go next one maria let me sorry Mayra, Mayra, because Maria just entered, porque Maria acaba de ingresar. Entonces, hello, Miss Maria. Después va Maria. Hello, hello welcome. Okay. Mm. B2. Okay, B2. Bye. Mm. Tell me. I buy chocolate. Excellent. Mm. Thank you. Oh, nice. You have another one. Very good, very good. Let's go with William. Tell me, William. Uh, <coughs> D3. D3, okay. Listen, tell me. I listen the English class. Excellent. Very good, William. Thank you. Let's go now with Andrea. Okay, Andrea. So, tienes que decir una letra y un número, okay? Y de ahí te va a salir. Okay, y de ahí te va a salir. B7. B7. Love. I love it. My mother. Exactly. I love my mother. Very good. Just that. Very good. Excellent, Andrea. Thank you. Let's go, Eric. Tell me, Eric. What number and what letter? A7. Okay, a seven. Read, tell me. I read the book. Excellent, very good, nice. Let's go, Ismael. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, letter A, uh -huh. number two. Number three, okay, play. Tell me one sentence using play. Uh, he plays soccer. Excellent, very good, Ismael, thank you. Maria Salome, now let's go, Miss. Uh, C4. C4, dance, tell me. <clears throat> she dance a cumbia. She tells Cumbia. Excellent, Maria Salome. Thank you. Let's go. Next one, Walter. You're next. Uh, C3. Okay, C3, cook. Mm, my mother cooks. Excellent. Very good. Very good, very good. Okay, and uh, I know that some verbs over there that are not complete. Yo sé que hay muchos verbos por ahí que no están completos, okay? But don't worry, because we are going to continue. And thank you for doing it. Some of you win some chips. Yo sé que algunos de ustedes ganaron 
este chips que son los barquitos, okay? And uh, so yeah, very good job, okay? Now let's go with the attendance section. In the attendance section today, we are going remember to say activate your cameras and please say present, okay? Por favor, activen sus cámaras y digan present. Just give me one second so we can do this. Okay. And give me one second. Okay. Remember to say present. Recuerden que debemos decir present y activar sus cámaras. Uy, what did I do? Casi cancelo la llamada. Okay, Andrea Marleni. Present. Thank you. Daniela Beatriz. Present. Thank you, Miss. Denis Alberto. Eric Alberto. Present. Guillermo Baltasar. Guillermo. Present. Thank you. Ismael Ernesto. Present. Very good. Thank you. Joel González. Jonathan David. Present. Thank you. Luis Mario. María Salomé. Present. Thank you, Miss. Marvin Rigoberto. Present. Thank you. Mayra Alejandra. Present. Thank you, very good. Noé Danilo. Present. Thank you. Pedro Alexander. Pedro Antonio. Present. Thank you. Walter Alexander. Present. Thank you. William Alexander. Present. Thank you. And Yolanda Cristina. Acabo de ver que se conectó Joel, pero I'm not sure. Se salió. Ah, oh, no, ahí está. Joel. Joel Hola. González. Uh, present. Tuve Thank problemas you. para conectar. I am sorry. Y lo vi que está ahí entrando, entonces yo dije, le voy a volver a llamar para que tenga su present. Very good, mister. Y de ahí, Denis, Luis Mario. Ok. Very good. And thank you everybody for doing the attendance section with me. Gracias a todos por hacer la sección de asistencia conmigo. Okay. Let's go and continue. So as I told you before, okay, we are going to continue with this new topic. Vamos a continuar con ese nuevo tema que se llama the present progressive. Okay. Uh, the, well, it's a little bit about the future. Okay. Well, involves the future, incluye el futuro. Y este, el presente progresivo, que okay, lo, lo podemos utilizar para muchas cosas, ¿ok? Una de ellas es para hablar sobre el futuro, for the future. The second thing is to talk about things happening right now, ¿ok? Y la otra cosa es para hablar sobre cosas que están sucediendo ahorita mismo. Like, for example, my mom is watching TV. Por ejemplo, mi mamá está viendo la televisión. Then we have, for example, we are in, we are having classes. Estamos, estamos en clase, ¿verdad? Porque eso está sucediendo ahorita mismo. And so, can you tell me another activity that is happening right now? ¿Me pudieran ustedes mencionar eh, otra actividad que esté sucediendo um, a su alrededor? I'm reading, in my, I, I'm reading in my notebook. Ah, you're reading in your notebook. Very good. What else? Los demás? Oh, you can say it in Spanish. That's okay. Drinking coffee. Ah, you're, what? At this time is? Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> That's nice. I wish I could. That's so good. Okay, delicious coffee. Okay. What about oh. the other ones? Uh, my father's water. watching TV. Uh huh. Watching TV. Very good. Uh huh. I'm wearing water. Drinking water. Very good. Okay. I'm so, eating my cereal. Ah, you're eating cereal? Delicious, Mr. Me too. I, I just ate cereal. That's uh, delicious. Okay. Now, uh, so we are going, sorry for the talk, I don't know if you can listen, but okay, we are going with this that is present progressive and we have some rules, okay? Y tenemos algunas reglas como, um, tenemos algunas reglas para crear estas oraciones, 
¿ok? Esta, estos verbos, porque estos verbos cambian un poquito, como pueden ver, aparte del simple present, right? This you are going to add, porque en esto vamos a agregar ing, ¿ok? And then, here we have the first rule. Aquí tenemos la primera regla. Help me to read, please, William. Much better. With uh -huh. much better, just add ing. Uh -huh. It, eating. Exactly. To most of the verbs, we are going to add only ing, right? So, for example, eat, eating. And then we have some more examples. Vamos a tener otros ejemplos. Por ejemplo, watch. What is? What do you think it would be for watch? Watching. Exactly. Watching. What about play? Playing. Play. Yes, very good. What about talk? Talking. Talking. Excellent. Talking. What about cook? Cooking. Cooking. Awesome. What about walk? Walking. 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 Okay. What about... Wait. What about study? Study. 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 Exactly. What about clean? Clean. Cleaning. 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 Very good. Y so, como pueden ver, solo vamos agregando ING. Wait. Waiting. 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 Exactly. Waiting. Then we have the next rule. Y ahora tenemos la siguiente regla. Help me please to read, Andrea. Okay. Verse ending in E. If a verse end in a single E, drop the E and eight N and G. Make, making. Exactly, thank you. Cuando terminan en E, what are we going to do? We are going to delete that one, right? Vamos a eliminar esa esa I y pues le vamos a agregar like ing, okay? Then we have, for example, y aquí tenemos a smile, sería? Smiling. Is smiling, exactly, porque eliminamos esa I. Then we have, right? Writing. Exactly, writing. What about drive? Driving. 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 Very good. Uh, what about have? Having. Excellent. Having. Having. What about type? Typing. 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 Very good. What about, wait a second. What about, oh, then we have another, like another rule. Help me to read, please, Walter. Verbs ending in a, e. A, a, e. I E I E I E mm -hmm. if a verb ends in I E change I E for uh, Y and at E N G I N G exactly vaya cuando tenemos un verbo así miren cuando está en presente y termina en I E como lie que es mentira Para decir mintiendo, porque esto de eh, ING es como ando, ento, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a eliminar esto último y agregamos una Y y le agregamos ING. Entonces nos quedaría lying, que es mintiendo. Ajá. Then we have some other verbs. Tenemos algunos otros ejemplos. Like, for example, tie sería. Tie. Tying. Ajá, miren, eliminé esa I -E y le agregué J -I -N -G, que significa amarrando, como pueden ver ahí, los zapatos. What about die? Dying. 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 Miren, se elimina esa I -E y le agregamos J. Y -N -Y -N -G. What about next one? Um, help me with this one, please. Um, Guillermo, help me to read this rule, please. Verbs ending in A, consonant, which comes after a vo vowel. If a verb ends in a consonant and the letter before the consonant is a vowel, double the consonant N at I and G. Note, this does not apply to verbs ending in Y, X, no, W, X, Y. Exact. Run, uh -huh. Running. Mm -hmm. And running, right. Now, here, this is something important. Look, this es algo muy importante. Verbs that end with W, X, and Y 
don't double them. Cuando eh, estos, eh, estos verbos que terminan con W, como por ejemplo swim, como la fix, no vamos a duplicar estas, estas consonantes, sino que se van a quedar igual y solo le damos ING. And here we have run, running, right? The rule basically is that if we have consonant, vowel, consonant, si tenemos un verbo que termina en consonante, vocal, consonante, duplicamos la última consonante y le damos ING. For example, run sería running, right? Running. Ajá. Uh -huh. Let's go with the next one. Swim sería. Swimming. swimming. Me equivoqué. Swim swimming. parece el otro. Ajá. Swimming. swimming. Yes, very good. What about stop? Stopping. 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 Exactly. Very Stopping. good. Now, here we have a little bit of the structures. Okay. Ahora vamos. Ahora sí, a esas eran las reglas. Okay. Ahora como un poco de estructuras. Okay. With the sentences. And we have positive, negative, and questions. Y tenemos tres tipos. Vea, pre, I mean, afirmativas, negativas y preguntas. Okay. And so here we have the present progressive, okay? And we have the affirmative statements, okay? And las afirmativas, so this is the order, este va a ser el, el, el orden. What is the verb to be for I, everybody? ¿Cuál sería el verbo to be para el I? Um. um. Exactly. Um. What about for you, we and they? Are. 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 Exactly. For she, he, and it. Yes. Yes. Very yes. good. And then for, bah, y después pues vamos a utilizar el gerundio, right? And so for example, here, I have this example. I am, puede ser acá, ¿verdad? I am studying now, ¿ok? Porque recuerden que el presente progresivo lo vamos a utilizar para hablar sobre cosas que están sucediendo ahorita. I am studying now. Vamos a ver, wait a second. This is the structure, remember. Esa es una estructura, ¿verdad? Pero ya le voy a mostrar otros. Porque también esto lo podemos contractar y aquí está, miren. Por ejemplo, en la forma completa sería I am, uy, 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 sorry. I am, y para la forma contractada sería am. You are, you are, eso al inicio de la oración, vea, we are, we are, they are, they are, ajá. She, he, he and is, she, 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 ajá, y el it is sería, it is, very good. Vamos a crear unas oraciones ahora. So basically, for example, this is present progressive. For example, if I have I, what is the verb to be now? Um, um, I am. Exactly, I am. And then we are going to say an activity happening right now, right? Vamos a decir una actividad pasando ahorita mismo. And for example, I am playing soccer. Okay, I am playing soccer, okay? And then we have and she, what's the verb to be for she? Is, is. Is, and then. Reading, reading a book. Exactly, reading a book. Excellent, very good, very good. Then we have, wait a second. Um, let's say they, pero contractado, vamos a ver. How will be contractado? Huh? There. Y ahora una, un verbo con ING de los que acabamos de ver. Drinking coffee. Ah. They are making the homework. Ah, very good. They, oh, we are making, making, you say, right? Pero sería yes. doing, doing the homework, okay? Okay. Then we have with, uh, that would be the affirmative sentences, okay? Eso sería para las afirmativas. Recuerden que la podemos hacer complete form and contracted, okay? Lo podemos hacer completo o contractado. Then we have negative form, okay? De ahí tenemos las negativas, okay? Let's do that. Vamos a ver esas. In the negative form, super easy. We only add not. Lo único que hacemos es agregarle el not, okay? And then the complement. Like for example, for I, what is the verb 
plus nothing negative. Can you tell me? Not. I not. I'm not. I'm not. Uh -huh. I'm not Very sure good. Not. Exactly. Thank you, Mister. If para he, she, and it. She's not. Is not. It isn't or is not. It's not. Not. Okay. Very not. good. And then we have the ing. Y después utilizamos el ing. For example, entonces acá sería I am not driving a car. Y aquí tenemos el ing ¿verdad? que anteriormente repasábamos. Okay, let's go with the negatives in here. Like for example, aquí sería, por ejemplo, si quiero convertir esta misma I am playing soccer, y negative will be, ¿cómo sería en negativo? I am, I am, I am not, playing, not playing, soccer. playing soccer. Exactly. I am not playing soccer. Very good. She is reading a book. She is she not, she's not she's reading not. a book. Mm -hmm. reading a book. She's, re she's not reading a book. Oh, that is something very important. Here I have the, uh, the negatives and, and contractions. Aquí también tenían las contractadas, también se puede utilizar cuando estamos haciendo oraciones en nativos. Wow. O sea, forma completa o, o en contracted form. For example, I am not, sería I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. You are not, sería You are, you are not. You aren't. You aren't. You are we are not, en contractado, sería We are not. We are, we are uh -huh. They are not, contractado, sería They are, they are, they are, they are. They are. She is not, sería. She is not. She is. She is. She is. It is not, sería. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. Excellent. It is. Excellent. But let's do now sentences. But for example, they are drinking. They are drinking coffee. It would be. They are not. Drinking. They are not drinking coffee. They are not drinking coffee. Exactly. They are aren't or are not drinking coffee very good then we have we are doing the homework in negative will be we are doing the, are homework. Doing the homework we are in negative hmm. we are not doing the homework, doing the homework. homework. exactly thank you very good wait a second okay there we have it in negative okay now, give me one second. I don't know what do I have next. Oh, here we have this practice. And in your manual, in page 26, you have this practice. Okay, in the página 26, tenemos esta práctica. What do you have to do? You have to complete with the ING form. Okay, van a complementar con la, eh, el verbo to be y el verbo con ING. Okay. So, for example, my name is Claire. I am wearing a green suit today. I am, I, I am wearing high heels too. Exactly. I am wearing high heels. Very good. Thank you, Miss. Excellent. Well, everybody. Okay, what about next one? Heels too. It's raining. But I I'm wearing I'm a ring. Wearing. I'm not I'm wearing, not wearing. A ring. I'm not wearing. Oh, I me faltó el wearing. I but it's wearing, yeah. I me faltó el wearing porque así va. I'm not wearing a coat. Let's see the next one. It's hot today. Tochi and Noriko. They are wearing. Are wearing. Are wearing. Exactly. Are wearing, are wearing shorts and t-shirts. It's very sunny, but they. Aren't wearing. Are wearing. Not exactly, porque ¿dónde están los lentes? Remember that lentes. ¿A dónde están los lentes in the picture? En la imagen, ya la vieron. 
No. No. Entonces sería no. they aren't wearing. wearing. Aren't wearing sunglasses. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Then we have this next picture. <coughs> Feel. Feel is wearing. Is wearing. Is wearing. wearing a suit. Is wearing a suit today. He. Is wearing, is wearing, wearing pants and jacket. Exactly, pants and jacket. He is wearing. Okay, he is wearing a brown shirt, but he isn't wearing. Isn't wearing. Isn't wearing or is not wearing a tie. Then we have the next one. It's cold today, but Katie. Isn't wearing. wearing a coat. Uh -huh. Is not wearing a coat, but she. She is not wearing. She is not wearing. She is wearing. Uh, sweater se refiere como a un suéter, a un suéter, pues que es a un suéter. Entonces, pero si se fijan ahí en la imagen, sí está utilizando un suéter. So, yeah, right. What about uh, gloves and hat? She. She is not wearing boots. Mm -hmm. She is wearing, is wearing, wearing sneakers. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, okay, she is wearing a sneakers. Okay. Then, okay, very good question so far. No. She's wearing stickers. Okay. Okay. Now, what are we going to do right now? Okay. We are going to. Wait a second. Just let me see what I have. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, as I told you before, right? I, I told you, look around. Les dije, miren a su alrededor. What is happening? Porque recuerden que el present progressive <laughs> es acerca de que. Eh, uh, it's happening right now. Está sucediendo ahorita mismo. So, what are we going to do? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? I'm going to give you three minutes. No, maybe five. Five minutes, okay? You're going to stand up, okay? You're going to look around your house. Van a ver alrededor de su casa, o si no por la ventanita, por si es ca la, casa está, la casa es pequeña, uh, o es al bedroom, no sé, o están solos ustedes. Van a mirar alrededor, o pueden ver también un canal de televisión, ok, y van a ver qué está sucediendo. Vaya, por ejemplo, ahorita, for me, vaya, lo voy a explicar para mí. Right now, here, pueden ser positivas o negativas, remember. For example, for me, I am alone, so... Eh, the fan is working. El ventilador pues está funcionando. Yeah? It's something true right now. It's happening. Acá está. Uh, Urbina is, porque estoy escuchando, Urbina is saying the, the news. Okay? Urbina está diciendo las noticias. And the cat is is Running, okay? The cat is running because it's running like crazy, okay? So, that's, that's our, my three sentences. Ay, me faltó una negativa. Wait, let me say, let me see. My mom, porque I have television. It's not watching TV, okay? Miren acá, mi mamá pues no está viendo televisión, sino que lo deja ahí. I don't know. The, the ghost is watching TV, right? <laughs> Okay, so you're going to write four sentences. Van a escribir cuatro oraciones. Pueden ser positivas o negativas, okay? Porque estas son las mías, okay? Acerca de qué está sucediendo a su alrededor, okay? Whatever, okay? O pueden poner un canal de televisión y vean qué está sucediendo. I'm going to give you five minutes. Le puedo dar cinco minutitos para it, so you can do it, okay? Let's try it.
WhatsApp, don't send them. Wait a second, don't send them. No lo vayan a enviar en WhatsApp. Let's wait because I want you to tell me. <laughs> ya no están a reescribir, le iba y yo. Ay, no, no puede ya. Wait, 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 wait a second, don't send them. ¿Lo vuelvo a poner o lo...? lo... Yes, put it again, put it, put it. Okay, one more minute, one more minute so you can do it. In donde la vamos a mandar? In WhatsApp, Mister. In WhatsApp. Just to make it short, I just want to look at it, okay? Solo quiero chequear los verbos because I'm seeing something. Eating and sleeping. Yeah. Very good, Mr. Alberto. I don't remember the other thing. Ah. I am drinking. What, Mr. Guillermo, is true? But Mr. Uh, Antonio, pero qué, está, ¿qué es lo que está sucediendo? Pero hubiera encendido la tele, ¿qué estaba pasando? Por ejemplo, de TV. Eh, uh -huh. Sí, sí. Eh, lo que sucede es que en la, en la TV no, no, no hay como decir apagado. Está apagado. Ah, pero vaya. Pero es que yo necesito que estén como personas moviéndose. Porque el progreso en progreso son situaciones, mister, que están pasando. O sea, por ejemplo, yo ahorita me estoy moviendo, puede ser que estoy tomando agua, entonces ahí vas a escribir. Por ejemplo, my mom, digamos, no sé. Vale, por ejemplo, el ventilador uh -huh. de fan is working, está o bajando. Maybe, o maybe puedes ¿Sí? poner que está rodando, por ejemplo, it's willing. Willing. Ah, Ajá, okay. así puede, porque eso está moviendo, vea, no está parando, vea. Sí, sí, sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces así era, así. ¿Qué otra ah, cosa? Okay. Mira tu alrededor, ¿qué otra cosa está moviéndose? Por ejemplo, hace poquito aquí andaba una avispa, la avispa andaba volando, entonces yo podría haber dicho, the bee is flying. Mira, ok, así. Y chicharra, y chicharra, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? Uh, grasshopper, the grasshopper. The grasshopper, uy. the grasshopper, ajá, uh -huh, is singing. Vaya, por ejemplo, las chicharras pues cantan. Grasshopper is singing. Vaya, así. Ah, okay, mm. okay. Okay. Sleeping. Que este, my wife is what, Mr. Uh, Mr. Dennis? My wife is the number three. Es embroidering. ¿Qué, ¿Qué es eso? Bordar. Ah, 
knitting, ¿ok? Ya se lo voy a mandar, me dice, knitting, esto es, knitting se dice bordar. Ah, ok. Excelente, Miss uh, María Salomé. ¿Is watching TV, Miss? Y lo demás está very, uh, it is not, it is not raining. Exactly, porque recuerden que podría ser una negativa. Is my family, my family is hmm, watching TV. I don't know if you have any questions so far. No sé si hay alguna duda o pregunta. Yo tenía una duda. Eh, Tell me. Con, con una de las reglas que vimos que se le iba a colocar la consonante dos veces. Uh -huh. Si acababa en consonante y antes de ella iba a buscar. Uh -huh. A excepción del WX y ya. Ajá, así es. La voy a volver a mostrar. Sí, este, ¿cuánto tenemos una consona, un verbo que sea consonante, vocal, consonante? Este, duplicamos la última consonante y le damos ING, a excepción de la consonante, o sea, los verbos que terminen en W, en X y en Y. Por ejemplo, tú no puedes decir así, vea, fix, que es el verbo arreglar. Entonces no puedes decir así, fixing, eso no es posible. Ni por ejemplo, let's say play, play termina con Y, entonces no puedes decir así, playing, doble Y, ¿verdad? it cannot be possible, no puede ser posible. Ok, so esa era una, um, I don't know if there's any other doubts. Bye. Creo que no, pero todavía hay doubts, que sí hay dudas. Vayan, vamos a volver a repasar las sentences. Vamos a ir con las oraciones una vez más. Bye. Recuerden que esto que estamos estudiando, please pay attention and look at the board. Miremos la pantalla ahorita porque les voy a volver a explicar un poco acá porque algunas, eh, se nos faltan algunas palabritas, entonces no están completas, ¿ok? El presente progresivo, recuerden que es para decir algo que está sucediendo ahorita mismo, ¿ok? Entonces, si miran alrededor, por ejemplo, un, un mosquito pasa volando, el ventilador está funcionando, eh, yo estoy, a, me están escuchando, ¿ok? Yo estoy hablando y así. ¿Cómo vamos a crear esta oración en inglés? So, first, primero necesitamos un sujeto. Digamos, I, vaya, primero con I. De, el verbo to be de I es, ¿cuál es, everybody? Um, 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 perfect. Um, I am, uh -huh. I am, vaya, por ejemplo, ¿qué estoy haciendo? Ah, me estoy tocando I la am, cara. I'm talking. Yeah. Ok, ok. Talking, I am talking. Vaya, yo no, estoy sorry. hablando. Y ahí es donde utilizo los verbos que les estaba pues mostrando hace unos minutos. Vaya. Then we have, for example, digamos que quiero hablar acerca de my mother. My mother. ¿Cuál es el verbo to be para my mother? Is. Is. Ajá. is. Ahora okay. un verbo con ing. Por ejemplo, my mother is. Cooking. Ah, vaya, cocinando. Cooking, ¿ve? Entonces, eso es todo lo que vamos a hacer. Entonces, pero tiene que estar sucediendo uh -huh. ahora mismo. Entonces, por eso yo les dije, si están solos, pueden encender la tele y ver qué está pasando en el canal que les caiga. Entonces, este, por ejemplo, vea, yo hace un ratito que estaba saliendo la novela, no sé, vea, y pueden decir algo de la novela, no sé, como, um, let's say, I, I don't remember any famous actor, um, let's say Thor, Thor is flying, vaya, ahí tengo una, vea, Thor, Thor, que ustedes saben que es un actor, bueno, no es un actor, es un personaje eh, muy importante en Marvel Movies y después tenemos is porque estamos hablando de he, ¿verdad? Y después el verbo flashing que está volando, aunque okay, no well, I think. O maybe we can say it. Um, también podemos decir. ¿Qué otra cosa está pasando? Vamos a ver. Um, puede ser I am, que I am, 
Hayan, uh, uh, escribiendo, pero, escribiendo, vale. Hayan escribiendo. ¿Ah? Hayan, hayan, um, vale, ¿Qué quieres decir? Dime. Eh, o sea, quiere decir que estoy viendo las noticias. Ah, para mirar cómo se decía, ver televisión. ¿Te acuerdas cómo se ver. dice? ¿Cómo se dice? Sí. Esa es televisión, ver. pero sí, ver, sí. watch. I am watch TV. ¿Pero con, con quién es ese día? Eh, watching. TV, TV. exacto. I am watching TV. Porque estás haciendo esa acción ahorita, ¿verdad? Correcto. Exactly. Yeah. Very good. Vamos a ver. Any other ideas? Alguna otra idea? One more idea here. We are paying attention. Exactly. We are paying attention. Vaya, porque está pasando. ¿verdad? Todos están prestando atención. Very good, very good. Ok. Wait. Pero no me hicieron negativas. No, but it did negative sentences. Nadie me hizo una negativa. Ok, Ay, María mira, Salomé. Ah, oh, good. Yes, Porque ahorita, ahorita, ahorita estaba chequeando en agua. Like, so quick. Estaba haciendo así scanning. Scanning se llama. Es una no. técnica en inglés para leer rápido. Eso estaba haciendo yo. Um, scanning. <ríe> Solo estaba fijándome uh, los errores. Entonces. Una. Ok, tell me, mister. Tell me, Antonio. Yes, my, brother is, my brother is not happy. Happy. Vaya, está bien. Vaya. Mi hermano, mi hermano no es feliz. Vaya, pero no está riéndose sería, porque es algo que está, no está sucediendo, vea. Ah, ok. Entonces sería, my brother is, ajá, sí. dímela. Uh, riendo. ¿Cómo no. se dice riéndose? No. Loving. Smiling. Smiling, ah, ok. Ajá, ahí estaba en los verbos que les mostré, smiling, sonriendo, ok. Porque si dices happy, estamos utilizando el verbo to be, ¿ok? Y ahorita Correcto. ya estamos con el presente progresivo. Entonces, ahora, claro. mira, vamos a enfocar en esto del ING, ¿ok? Let's focus on that, on that, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, very good. Now, let's say, um, can you read one sentence, please, Dennis? ¿Podrías leer una oración, Dennis, please? Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh... My daughter is dancing. Ah, very good. Thank you, William. Let's go. Read a sentence, please. My sister is cooking. Ah, excellent. Daniela, can you read a sentence, please? Dog is sleeping. I'm sorry, one more time. The dog uh -huh. is sleeping. Very good. Thank you, Daniela. Jonathan, tell me one sentence, please. The dog is sleeping. Another one, porque la acabo, esa acaba de decir. Okay, and uh, the, the cat, what? The cat is eating? Aha, uh -huh. the cat is eating. Very good. Eric, can you tell me one? My mother is listening to the music. Excellent, thank you. Let's go, Andrea. Tell me. It is not raining. Exactly. Thank you. Mayra, let's go. I'm eating a donut. Yeah, delicious me from Mr. Donut. <laughs> I hope because Mr. Donut is yes. uh, delicious. Nice. <laughs> Walter, tell me. I am hungry. Oh. <laughs> me too. <laughs> so you are are you uh, eating something or no? Are you eating or no, no. eating? Uh, no, I no eating. eating. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Maria Salome, tell me. Ah, pero tú ya me my, uh -huh. my dog is not playing the ball. Exactly. Thank you. Joel, tell me one. Uh, my family is watching TV. TV, excellent. Thank you. Let's go, Marvin. Marvin. Okay, Guillermo, go. I am not watching TV. Ah, thank you. Very good. Let's go, Ismael. Tell me one. My daughters are playing. Exactly, very good. But 
Thank you, everybody. Okay, now, just to finish, okay, with today's practice, we are going to do this activity. Vamos a hacer esa actividad. What do you have to do? You have to order the words, okay? Vamos a ordenar las, las palabritas para crear una oración, okay? So you have to try. Let's go. Uh, volunteers. Uh, I don't know if I have volunteers right now. Okay, go, Dennis. Tell me, what's the order? Después, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. uh, eh I am mm -hmm. uh, playing in basketball. Excellent. Thank you. Jonathan, let's go. He is walking to school. Exactly. Very good, Jonathan. William, let's go. Dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> William, hello. What happened? Hello, hello. hello. Uh -huh. They are eating uh -huh. ice cream. Excellent, thank you. Antonio, let's go. Uh, uh, watching. Uh -huh. Are we. Uh, no, but recuerda que llevo. No, no. Un orden. Okay. ¿Qué va primero? We are. Uh -huh. Watching TV, television. Excellent, Antonio. Thank you. Let's go, Noe. Mm. This one is a little bit long, Noe. Mm. My dog. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sleep. One more time. Can you say it again? My dog is uh -huh. sleeping on uh -huh. my bed. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Noé. Let's go next one. Mayra. It is raining today. Excellent. Thank you, Miss. Very good. Let's go. Maria Salome. The are sleeping mm -hmm. on the bell. Mm -mm. We're missing After something. They are sleeping dog. Look, look of the words. Mira todas las palabritas. Ahí no falta T. Solo me dijiste T. ¿Qué falta ahí? ¿Qué crees que falte? The dog on the bell. The dog. Ah, exactly, Miss Maria. Very good, excellent. Let's go now, Andrea. Let's go. Mm -hmm. The walking. The no. walk, okay. The student uh -huh. is walking to a school. Excellent, Miss Andrea. Thank you. Very good. Let's go next one. We're going with Eric. Eric, let's go. Uh -huh. The baby, sorry, one more time. Ay, casi no te escucho, Eric. In the room. Exactly, the baby is sleeping in the room. Let's go next one, Guillermo. The teacher is cleaning the classroom. The teacher is? Cleaning the classroom. Excellent. Very good. Let's go, Joel. Mm. We, we are mm -hmm. drinking soda. Drinking. Repeat, we please. Are, we are drinking soda. Excellent, mister. Very good, very good. Ismael. Let's go. Uh, my friend. Mm -hmm. Are clean by cleaning or mm -hmm. climbing 
climbing. The tree. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Ismael. Jonathan, let's go. Um, my mom is working in the office. Yes, excellent. Thank you, Jonathan. Let's go, Walter. Carlos. Hmm? E Carlos is drinking milk. Excellent, Mr. Que me falta? Somebody is missing. Uh, who is going um, pass? Okay, let's go, Daniela. Carla is dying of cooking. No, cooking. Uh, uh -huh. Dinner. Dinner. Excellent. Dinner. Cooking dinner. Very, very good. That was awesome. Good job, everybody. That was a little bit of practice, okay, for the affirmative, mostly for affirmatives, okay? And I think it was only, no, well, no negatives yet, but we are going to practice them. I don't know if you have any questions because today in the morning, well, not in the morning, eh, Dennis was asking me about some activities. No sé si tienen alguna duda con la plataforma porque Dennis me mandó un, un ejercicio que estaba very hard, estaba muy difícil porque era solo de sonidos y era acerca de esto, ¿verdad, Mr. Dennis? Entonces, este... <laughs> Y hasta que él me dijo, lo que me tocó fue ver las respuestas porque estaba bien difícil. Yo pensé que estaban contando dinero, vea. Y no era eso, sino que era typing, que es escribiendo. No sé si alguien ya lo hizo. Está en la parte, en, en la section 5. Uh, en la sección, ay, no, no recuerdo si es la antepenúltima de la sección 5. I don't know, somebody. Y después de eso, pues ya va al final, el examen final. Ya ese tema ya es de, la, de los últimos. I don't know. Parece que, boy, yo no se me quedado ahorita. Yeah, que that one is very hard. Está bien difícil porque pues algunos sonidos vean no se identifica. Por eso les digo, si ustedes tienen alguna duda, remember that you can let me know, okay? Eh, I don't know, somebody, the other one. So we are perfect. We're good with this one. ¿Por qué sección van? What section are you going with the... Section 5. Section 5, everybody. I'm starting in section 5. Section 5, okay, section that's five. great. That's great because you are. I am complete, teachers. You are complete. Oh, that's awesome. That's good. Yeah, so basically, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know because. The one that I saw, it was very hard. Porque el que vi, eso no lo, no, sinceramente, yo no lo había visto. But wow, it was very difficult porque pues si no identificas el, el sonido, right? It's going to be difficult. And so, I don't know, for the other ones, we are good. De hecho, es este ejercicio. I'm, I'm going to show you this exercise. It's exercise 513. And uh, it's about this audio that you have to listen to. And then, y aquí escribes qué es lo que está sucediendo. What's Mary doing? Y ahí te pones eh, qué es lo que está haciendo ella. Entonces, sí, estos son ocho sonidos. Si no saben cómo hacerlo, bueno, o, o pues no identifican alguno, pues me, me avisan, ¿verdad? Okay, and I will be happy to help you. Uh, today was kind of hard. El Mr. me escribió en más momento, pero siempre le contesté. But don't worry, Mr. Sure. Don't worry. Thank sure. you. Okay. And, okay, so any... Any questions, doubts, comments? Alguna pregunta, duda al momento? Tomorrow we are, uh -huh. everything is clear? Yes. Okay, because tomorrow we are going to, porque como pudieron darse cuenta, nos faltan las questions and some other things. Ahora ya es un poco más relax, a medida van pasando los días, así es que, eh, Tomorrow we are going to learn that. Mañana vamos a aprender las questions y vamos a hacer many questions, okay? Thank you everybody for coming to today's class. Gracias a todos por venir a la clase del día de ahora. And take care and have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care. Thank you. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Bye.